What up everybody, this is Mr. Stan coming at you with another physics video. This time we're going to talk about um, how to look at a, a time and position data table and figure out what's going on with the motion. So as you can see, there's uh, four things we're going to be looking for. One is the starting point, direction, displacement, and velocity. And those four things will tell us a lot about what's happening. All right, so let's watch the motion. And as, uh, as he moves across the screen, you'll see that the numbers are populated on the right. So if you're watching this guy move, uh, you, would, you would find these numbers for time and for position. Okay, so starting point is fairly easy. Basically, uh, where was he at time zero seconds? Okay, or where, wherever you started taking the time, uh, his position would be the starting point. All right, direction. Uh, you can see that as you watch the motion, his direction changed. All right, so let's say we didn't watch it. We just had these numbers. How could we tell? Well, for um, the first three seconds, you'll notice that the uh, numbers for position, where he was, those numbers got larger. Okay, so between zero and three, he was moving forward. Okay, so remember, uh, these numbers tell you how far he was away from what we call the reference point, which is zero, right? And that's not where, it is where he started, but it doesn't have to be. In some cases, he might start somewhere for difference, but zero is the place where we measure things from. So if the numbers are getting larger, that means he's moving away from that place. And usually we'd say that he's moving forward, right? Um, between three and four seconds, you can see that the position doesn't change. Uh, that means he stayed still during that time, right? And then after that, from four to six seconds, you see these numbers getting smaller. That mo means he was moving backwards, okay? So usually with one-dimensional motion like this, we'll say that moving forward was, um, forward would be when, when the numbers are getting greater, backwards is when the numbers are getting smaller, okay? So the next thing we want to find out is displacement. Right, and displacement is just a uh, final position minus initial position. So if you want to find his total displacement for this whole motion, you look at where did he end up, and he ended up at um, 4 at the very end. Okay, you can see that that's the last position you see on the data table. All right, and where did he start? Again, his starting position was 0. Okay, it, and again, it doesn't always have to be 0, but this time it was. So 4 minus 0 is 4 meters. Okay, so... He, he he actually traveled more than, than four meters, if you're watching it, because he went all the way to six and then back to four. So he actually, he traveled eight meters, but his displacement is four because he's only four meters away from where he started at the end. Okay, and finally, velocity. Okay, um, velocity is going to be a little more complicated because he didn't have the same velocity all the time. So what you do is you come over here and you want to find out how much is the position changing by, okay? Because how much the position changes by divided by how much the time changes will tell you the velocity. So uh, it, it's fairly easy because the time is changing by one second. And if uh, you're doing an experiment and you take the, the position every one second, it's easy to find the velocity because you just look at how much the position is changing by on the right side here. So two divided by one would be two, right? And here it goes from two to four. There's another jump of two. Okay, and then you'd have to divide that by how much time went by and it went from one to two. That's just only one second. So two would be your velocity. And it just keeps on going like that. And so you'll notice between three and four seconds, the velocity changes from two to zero. Okay, and then after that, it changes to negative one. Right? And the negative one velocity doesn't mean that it's slower than zero. It just means it's going backwards instead of forwards. All right, so uh, between zero and three seconds, he had a velocity of two. Between three and four seconds, he had a velocity of zero. And then between four and six seconds, he had a velocity of negative one, going one meter per second backwards. All right, so we found up all the information. And uh, we got to see him move this time, but we didn't have to. We could have found all the information just by looking at these numbers right here. Right. That's all for this time. I'll see you in another video.